Hey y'all, it's Alyssa here. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you an overview of what it's like to be an education major and going through some of my own personal experience. So let's get started. All right, so first and foremost, a little bit about me. I'm a junior secondary education and English double major with a minor in Italian at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. So I've known I wanted to be a teacher for quite some time. I get that question a lot. Um, I've always known that I really love to serve people and I really love being in front of a crowd. So teaching just seemed like something that I would want to do. But it's definitely scary. It's definitely a field in which you know you're gonna have a lot of influence and the ability to shape a lot of lives, which can be a little overwhelming, but I'm here to possibly calm those nerves, just talk through what it's like, what you need, what you do, and to see if it's right for you. Uh, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the area of focus you could choose as an education major. So like I said, I'm secondary education, which at Vanderbilt means that I will be certified to teach sixth through 12th grade. It varies from school to school. Sometimes secondary is just high school, um, and sometimes it's seventh through 12th. It depends on the school, it depends on the program. Actually, I think mostly depends on the state. Um, but that being said, there are a plethora of areas you could focus on. So you have secondary education. You also have elementary education. Again, this range kind of changes too based on state. And then sometimes you even have um, early childhood education, which sometimes can be jumped in with the elementary. Again, it's all kind of mixed around. But those are your three main brackets. So early childhood, elementary, and then secondary education. Then if you're looking for a more niche uh, topic of study, you could do something like a special education or an English language learners program. Uh, you could do child development or curriculum, education policy. There's a lot of different outlets you can take with an education major, but I would say that the main groups focus on the actual act of teaching, which were the three I just made, named, and then also special education and ESL education. So for me at Vanderbilt, I am a secondary education major, which means that I also am focused on studying my concentration, which is gonna be English and secondary education English major, hoping to be an English teacher. Um, at Vanderbilt, you have to double major no matter where you fall in our Peabody College of Education. So even if you are early childhood, you still have to double major in something else. Like I said, some people double major in child development or you can double, double major in education policy. Um, not all schools make you double major and actually not all schools make you double major even if you are a secondary education teacher, they'll just make you do a concentration in the subject that you want to teach. So just something to think about when you're looking at programs, if you want to have that double major kind of built in or if you're looking to just do a concentration so you don't have to take two majors. Something else to note about this is I'm taking a minor in Italian. While this was really important to me for my own culture and because I like speaking the language, it's also great to think about how minors can contribute to your future teaching. So for example, I also love to act. So I thought about taking a theater minor or communication minor so I could get certified in teaching theater or teaching acting or teaching public speaking classes. Um, didn't fit within my schedule. However, because I'm taking an Italian minor, I can also get certified in teaching Italian, which would be really cool. You do not necessarily have to take a minor in order to get certified in a specific subject, especially something like theater. Um, you could just take a test that sees if you qualify to teach it. However, if you're studying it in school, obviously the test is gonna go a little bit better for you. So again, something to think about another outlet that you could use to help increase your education major and also just make you a more marketable teacher. If you're coming in saying, okay, I'm an English teacher, that's great. But if you're coming in and saying, I'm an English teacher that can also teach ESL, that also works with special education, that also can do theater, you probably wouldn't be able to do it all, but I'm just saying if you have even something extra that you could bring to the table, it'll make you more marketable in the career field. So the second thing I wanted to discuss was curriculum. So I know this was something that I was a little unsure about because schools would rant and rave about when you'd be sent into the classroom, which obviously sounds very important. That's where we will end up one day. Um, but I didn't really know what that meant. So basically almost every single education program 
actually probably ed every education program will get you into the classroom before you graduate. So this is really important so you could see how a classroom works. Sometimes you actually get to student teach and do lesson plans and really get hands-on experience with teaching to make sure this is the right, right correct career field hmm, for you before you enter the job market. Now that being said, this has really started to ramp up in the past few years with people, with schools trying to get people into the classroom earlier and earlier. So here at Vanderbilt, we get into the classroom as soon as our sophomore year. So yes, fall of sophomore year, you could take your first practicum class, which is where you go and observe teachers teaching. And we have observations in middle school and high school. We have observations inside the city, in suburbs, all different places. That's also something to consider is where your school is located and what they'll have access to. So some might have access to charter schools or public schools or private schools. Just something to think about. It might not dictate where you want to go. It might. Um, for me, I know Nashville has access to a ton of different schools. So I get to kind of see all these different places I could potentially work at and it's going to help me guide my decision when I'm really putting myself into the job market. Outside of practicum, what you'll be learning about is not only what to teach, but how to teach. So you'll be learning things like how to make lesson plans, or for me, reading books I one, one day might teach to my kids, or maybe if you're math, doing problem sets you might one day give to your kids. But you're also going to be learning about education theory, education policy, the history of ed education, and also how the school and the teacher shapes society. I stole that from one of my classes, which is called School Society and the Teacher. Um, but basically how we work in the grand scheme of these child's lives within the school um, and within the community at large. So you will be learning about a lot of things across many different aspects of academia. You'll be learning about psychology, like I said, history, policy, so laws and things like that too. And you'll also be learning about lots of different students because you're not sure what you'll walk into and have in your classroom. Um, so you need to know about all different learning styles of students, backgrounds of students, so many things to consider. So I know it feels overwhelming, it feels like a lot, but honestly, your teachers will make sure you have all the information. But the thing about education that you really need to get out going in is it's always changing and you're always learning and next time will always be better. Um, you're not gonna know everything about every single student or how to accommodate every single student every time you teach a class, but it's a learning curve. So just as we're teaching our students to learn, we're also learning with them how to be the best teacher, how to be the best version of ourselves for them. So at Vanderbilt, we specifically stress the influence that teachers have on the lives of their students. So with great power comes great responsibility. So really thinking about how you're using your voice, your platform, what you're teaching to your students and how that's gonna impact them, not only inside the walls of your classroom, but also outside as they go to take on college or go to take on life or just even go back home at the end of the day. So really thinking about this, it is a big task. It's a lot to take on, but if you're passionate about it and you want to serve these kids well, it will be something that just flows naturally out of you, I promise. So the second to last thing I would say is networking. So when you are going into these practicums or you're going to these schools or even just having communication uh, with schools outside your college, treat every single one of those opportunities like it's a job interview, like it's a networking opportunity. You never know at the end of your practicum, you might get a job offer from that school. You just don't know, so treat every person you meet as if they're interviewing you. Don't be weird, don't be nervous, but just take it seriously, act professionally, be on time, and just get as involved as you want to be. I know that the teachers that I've worked with want to share lesson plans with me. They want to get me involved in the classroom. They want me to teach as soon as possible, but sometimes it's just a matter of me asking me or me asking them or me saying, yeah, I'm really passionate about this. I really want to dive in. How can I help? And they are quick to jump on and give you something to do. At the end of the day, they're still teachers. So they want to also teach you how to be the best teacher. <laughs> so not only your professors you can lean on, but also these teachers that you're going to observe and potentially work with. Okay. And the last thing that I'll leave you with today, since this video is getting a little long, I can talk about education forever is how do you know if 
teaching is right for you. So I have four main questions you can ask yourself. Um, am I curious? Am I creative? Am I communicative? And am I compassionate? So yes, they all begin with C's, hopefully easy for you to remember. Um, but education is an ever-changing, ever-evolving job. Like I said, it takes creativity. You will not always be good at it at the first try. There will often be mistakes that you make, but you can learn from them and be better next time. And the thing about teaching that you really need is, can I communicate well with these kids? Do I want to listen to them? Do I want to make them feel known and feel understood and help them succeed? And am I compassionate about them? Do I care about them at the end of the day? Do I care what happens to them, not only within my classroom, but outside of these walls? I think if your answer to any of those four questions is even a slight yes, education may possibly be right for you. So if you have any more questions, please, please feel free to reach out and we will make sure to answer those. Go check out our TikTok and our blog and also our other videos to see things about other majors, to see more about education majors and just to learn about the college process in general. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye y'all. Keep dancing with the devil, buddy.